what's up Alpha Gang, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is an episode that I've been long waiting for and of course I'm sure some of you have as we've talked about it before on my Instagram page. Uh, this one of course I've been excited for all winter. As you know from a few videos before, I removed the stock turbo, sent it off to Turbo Parts Canada, and got their 68 millimeter upgrade service or for their stuff turbo um, that we reinstalled into this car. So of course with the bigger inlet, it also offers a, a nine blade quicker spooling turbine wheel and a bunch of upgraded internals as well, basically a full rebuild. So just with uh, expecting a lot more airflow. Um, but with that in mind, I, I don't know what to expect. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day, which is what I'm excited for. Uh, so, I, I, as you can't tell, if you can't tell by now, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited as you can hear my voice. So, the car has been parked all winter. Uh, this is the big, biggest upgrade that I ended up doing so far uh, to get ready for this moment tomorrow. The snow was melted here in Alberta, Canada, so we're good to take it out. So, tomorrow morning, we're gonna head to Mercari Auto, whereas we have the hub dyno set up with Kenji. And we're gonna get that going and then start probably tuning about maybe 10 o'clock. Um, I don't know what to expect for horsepower, honestly. I, I have guesses. I mean, I'm gonna be pretty happy with, uh, if you uh, seen pre our previous video, of course, on the tune, the car with full bolt-ons made 216 wheel horsepower. And then after we slapped on the Alpha Speed tune, it jumped up to 286 wheel horsepower. So a 70 horsepower game, which is awesome. Basically, it's night and day um, a feel there. So that, that felt great. So now with the stuff turbo upgrade, who knows uh, what we can make. I, I have friends that of course have meth injection with their stuff turbo upgrade and they've made 325 wheel. And I've also known people that have the external wastegate option and they've made closer to 375. So if I get 320, maybe I'll be happy, 325. If I get more, I'll be even more happier because I mean 40 wheel horsepower difference again, another big gain, it's, it's gonna feel like night and day. So I'm very excited to take you along this journey. So we will end up seeing you tomorrow morning and we'll take you to the dyno and go through the tuning process and let's see what we can make for numbers on this beast. See you tomorrow morning morning alpha gang so it is thursday morning we're heading over to get the dyno done um of course i wake up this morning and this is what i see as i was just talking about winter is done and there's snow on the ground from last night so um i'm a little bit disappointed with that part hold on let me just get in the car here Ugh. i apologize to the neighbors for this cold start Actually, it's not too bad in here anyways, but yeah, so we're gonna head off to get the dyno done and then I would like to get some pulls afterwards, but we'll see how cold it is outside because the tires are gonna be pretty cold. Right now it's minus three outside um, degrees Celsius. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, but uh, we'll catch you in a little bit at Mercari. Out here, getting her done. Uh, let's get started. We just got a base file, so we're gonna do that and then log that and make some adjustments and we will go from there. Uh, 
322 wheel up from 311. What do you think we'll do on this one, Dustin? 330. Yeah? How much? 330. Oh boy. 330 it is. Reach for the sky. Aim for 330 plus. You think we'll actually get the 330, hey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do another pull, and uh, yeah, we'll see you from there. If we get 330, I'll be super pumped. Dustin got 3.30, if his guess is correct. Oh boy, that looks peaky. Oh, oh just shy, oh 3.28. 3.28. <laughs> not bad, not bad. That's so this is kind of getting humorous now. Um, I guess we got one more file. For sure this was the final one, so Dustin might get 3.30. He's so close. So I don't know how this is going to go. 
but all in all, 333 wheel horsepower now in this car, I'm pretty happy with. Um, definitely you can hear it spool, like it's louder and quicker. I find, I find the responsiveness is way more. Obviously I'm gonna have to try it a lot more. Like at the track, I'll have to test it there and, and why not, because we're just uh, kind of in Mexico at the moment, just testing it. But uh, it feels really good. You can definitely feel the power. So I, I don't know, I'm loving it right now. I'll see if we can get a pull here just so you can hear the spooling. Um, let me just get over here. So now that we're home, uh, the car is parked. Um, I can't wait to actually bring this out to Castro Raceway and test it out on the drags. Because as you, if you've been following me for a while, the fastest time I ran was a 13.9, and that was with the regular stock turbo. So now that I'm stuffed, I, I hope I can shave off like maybe another 0.3 seconds or something, getting like a mid 13s for my time. Uh, there's, it's, I don't even know what to say. I'm really impressed. I'm excited that we made as much power as we did. I wasn't sure what to expect exactly, not having meth injection like I talked about before or an external wastegate, but going from 286 to 333 wheel horsepower in this car has, has been great. The torque even, I noticed, just feeling it from what it was before, it, it, it's so linear and it's so smooth just getting on the throttle it's definitely different than it was before from my previous tune just because uh, with the extra torque the extra power and just the way um daryl from alpha speed dialed everything in so i want to say a big thanks to daryl uh through alpha speed that helped tune this as well same with kenji uh he was running the dyno at mercari auto and of course a big shout out to mercari auto for letting us use our services of course for the hub dyno to get this custom dyno tune done through alpha speed um so if, if you're curious too like that's pretty much how we do a lot of the custom tune setups um when we run them of course through alpha gym performance we usually recommend a dyno tune for that just because the the environment's a lot more controlled and we just do multiple dyno runs and then just keep data logging all those runs i think we did like six or seven actually on that one uh, it took a little bit more time just to get that little bit of extra juice i thought we were done at like 323 wheel but then it was kept like let's do another one let's do another one and then finally we ended up at 333 and it's safe like we it's a pretty safe conservative tune as well too which is what i really like it's not just pushing numbers um nothing that could be too harmful for the engine or anything like that so we tuned it pretty conservatively and, and safely of course on, on 94 octane so i'm super pumped uh big thanks as well to turbo parts canada i will put a link down in the description so if you decide to buy uh stuff turbo for your bk2 or even a bk1 you can go off that link as well and then just find the the, the area that you have to go but uh for the bk2 i will put that link down below so you can also take a look and see what it offers and of course get a price for yourself if you're planning on doing that however with getting a stuff to Tune, you're definitely going to want to get it tuned or stuff turbo you're definitely going to want to get it tuned afterwards just because the parameters are going to be a lot different taking in a lot more air uh, it's going to change a lot of the fuel timing stuff like that so um definitely think about that if you're planning on doing this upgrade uh, some people are asking if already just through instagram because i was posting it throughout my feed and stuff on story and, and whatnot they're uh asking if that's all i had done if i had upgraded injectors if i upgraded fuel pump anything like that no nothing it's still stock fuel system all it was was just taking out my stock turbo if you've seen in the previous video that i linked earlier and just put in the stuff turbo just basically take out the old one send it off to turbo parts canada they sent it back to me i put it back in started the car and then just tuned it and that was it so really impressed i'm very happy today uh so yeah we'll uh i'll keep reviewing this of course when we actually take it to the track and see what kind of numbers we put down so as for this video i think that wraps it up thanks again for tuning in and checking out the numbers and getting as excited as i was as well just watching it hopefully and maybe you'll, you'll even end up getting a stuff turbo as well too so uh, we'll catch you next time uh, if you did enjoy the video of course hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one awesome see you guys